The BK Modi at Modi Group is with us, one of the potential bidders, uh, one of the stated bidders, actually, at least uh, from his side. Mr. Modi, thanks for joining us uh, uh, here on NDTV. Uh, what do you make of uh, this particular uh, process which has been announced? Of course, details are awaited, but then now you've got a basic structure. Well, I think, as I understand, they are saying that uh, the potential bidder has to put 31 plus 20, which is 51. And uh, 20 could be public offer, and if public offer does not get enough shares, then they will, you will get new, new shares. I think that's uh, all right. Uh, that's what we have been also saying, that uh, 51 should be there. Uh, my issue is that it should, the 51 should apply to everybody, including the people who have some sh shares in the company. Plus, uh, this uh, management takeover should take on day one, because normally you have to put 51% money on day one. And uh, <clears throat> though the share transfer cannot be done till the public offer is complete, that should not come in the way of management transfer and the board change. Mr. Modi, so what you're saying is someone holds 12% already in the company, the stated stake for them after this process should be 63%. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair thing because 51 is, should apply to everybody. I don't know whoever is holding whatever. They can always sell those shares in the market and come in the auction. Has that been clarified uh, by these uh, details coming in? Uh, have you just gone and questioned that and got a clarity on this? No, we have not got any clarity. Okay. Mr. Modi, uh, you know, uh, have you uh, p perhaps consulted with your legal team about how you'd like to go about this now, now that uh, it's not very far away, the actual process is not far away? That's point number one. And second, uh, you've always said that it has to be across the table or perhaps an e-auction. Uh, are you going to still be demanding that now that it's a, globally, a global competitive bidding? I think it should be. The only way you can do global competitive bidding is the e-auction. E so we'll... We feel that is the most transparent process. And our legal advisor, has, as I said, has said that the major thing is that if you're putting 51% money, because even if you have to make a 20% public offer, you have to put the money beforehand. So in a way, you are putting 51 on day one. So if you are putting 51% of the money, you should be able to appoint your own board on day one. Even if the share transfer does not take place, because the, technically the share cannot be transferred of 31 also till the 21 shares are, 20% share public offer is over, over, which will take three months. So I think uh, that process has to be clarified. That's why we have said that public offer should be over and over 51. But now if they are making the public offer as part of 51 and saying that if the share does not come from public, you can top it up. So in a way, they are issuing 51% share, uh, irrespective of how they do it. And the money is going in for 51 on day one. So the transfer of board and uh, the management has to take place on day one. So it should in, not wait till the total transfer of share takes place technically. So in case you do win the bid and you control 51%, um, then what about other investors who already have a stake of 12% in Satyam and they continue to hold on uh, to that amount because that's an independent decision as a strategic investment. You won't have any problems with that. We have no problem. We welcome every shareholder to hold it. The only thing I've said is that if they are part of the bidding, then they should also bid for 51. They cannot say, because we have 12, we will only bid for 39. All right, fair enough, Mr. Modi.